So we're down to the last meter of the bunch. There's one meter that's delinquent. It's being shipped in straight from China. It's going to take quite a while. I won't have it until uh, mid next month. So I'll run all the tests on that meter as soon as it comes in. So the last meter to test is the fluke. So again, here's my original fluke. This is the only one I've ever bought in my life. This meter, while it did provide me a few years of service, was it worth the money? I can tell you in my experience, that was not the case. I liked the meter and all when it was running, but uh, it was not very robust. I, uh, again, repaired this thing a couple of times, gave up on it, switched to, uh, at the time, HP, and never, never went back. So this is the last fluke I ever bought. Price on this thing, very high. Price on this thing, under 50 bucks. Straight from China, Chinese box, printed in China, assembled in China, 600 volt Cat 3, that's the claim. Wow, there you go. It's pretty small. Notice again, two leads only. It's like the Klein tool unit. Let's see what they send you for leads. Yeah. It's like a little booklet, maybe a warranty. Now to be clear, uh, I'm not turning any of these meters in under warranty. When I buy the high-end one to run up against these, assuming that one actually gets damaged, I'll, I would attempt a warranty return on it. Looks like it comes with the battery. You can see here it's got AC volts, DC, millivolts, ohms, beeper, capacitance, hertz. Hmm. Nice and small. It's very similar uh, size-wise to this uh, Klein meter. See the Klein's a little bit bigger. It's a little thicker. Looks like it's got a half-turn uh, knob here for the battery change-out. Okay, let's functional test this thing and uh, we'll see if we can run some tests on her. Here's our continuity tester. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, if you can see this here, uh, see how the connectors are offset quite a bit. It looks like it's okay. I tried uh, plugging in the real probes and uh, there is enough gap in here that the sleeve will fit. So uh, when I run it at the higher voltages and actually use better cables, I would uh, not have a problem with this meter. So again, functional wise, it uh, seems to be fine. Again, no frills, just like the Klein tools. Uh, I expect this meter should do fairly well with this testing, but
Okay, that's the end of the testing. I'll go ahead and functional test this. So the Fluke 101 made it through. Everything seems to be functional on it still. So he'll go through to the next round. So that's it for the meters. We ended up with... Uh, these are all blown up. Of course the... Uh, this other uh, Centec here also failed. However, uh, that's a new meter and it's been revamped. If you saw any of my pictures, that meter would survive these tests without any issues. I can tell you that right now. And here's our box of uh, meters that go to the next round plus the fluke.